So we are back with oh my god! It's been days that we've uh, actually posted an episode. So we've got some good news uh, to you know uh, give you. We're gonna talk about more stuff. Short and sweet video because of course you know there are not much games around and of course news might not be popping up. So we have an update regarding Thomas Partey. He's back in full training. Of course we've got to talk about Charlie Patino, Mikhail Mudrik, and Arsenal's fixture for PSV has been finally. Uh, been proposed and accepted, and yes, the Man City game gets postponed for that. So, what do we have in this episode? We have already spoken uh, to you about it, so let's just jump into it. So, James Benge has says that Thomas Partey has returned to full training ahead of Arsenal's game against Brentford. Yes, Thomas Partey is back, and uh, although Mikel Arteta will be the one to take the final decision on whether he will participate or not, but yes, the reasons are pretty much clear. He is going to be back for the game. Also, also, also. No Gabriel for uh, the Brazilian national team. Yes, being called for their official game for uh, games in September. No Gabriels, no Martinelli, no Jesus, and of course no Magalhas. It's good for Arsenal, isn't it? Anyway, so Charlie Patino is back. He's returned to Blackpool first team training, confirmed by Blackpool themselves. Themselves. Dan George says that. Charlie Patino is back in first first team training with Blackpool head coach Michael Appleton has confirmed says Charlie has returned to training and had a couple of sessions now. So yes, interesting to see. But since the death of uh, the Queen, well, uh, no, we, we're gonna get back to that. But since the death of the Queen, well, Arsenal's game has been actually uh, postponed. The game against PSV, yes, confirmed by Arsenal. The new date is here. Uh, the UEFA League fixture has been scheduled for Thursday, twentieth of October. 6 p.m. BST being the kickoff time, so that will be the time. And Arsenal's game against Manchester City, which was scheduled for 19th of October, has been postponed. No new dates have been set for the Man City game, which will be decided later. But the, both the clubs have given their, uh, you know, uh, have given their uh, green signal. And yes, things will go good. Also, Malder chief scout John Wick says. Uh, yeah, he, listen to what he said. He said, Liverpool could have got Erling Haaland. Arsenal could have got him. They were seeing a nine who was tall and broad. Oh, he's going to be a target man. I couldn't for the life of me see why they had narrowed him down that way. But hey, anyways, anyways. Let's move on. Rob Dorset says, uh, FA is still planning to have FA Cup third or fourth round replays despite massive fixture congestion. Contrary to reports elsewhere, there are no plans for them to be scrapped despite World Cup costing six weeks and postponements because of Queen's demise. So, sad. Anyways, uh, Olivier Giroud spoke about Arsene Wenger on RMC Sport. He said to set foot at Arsenal and learn on a daily basis uh, with Arsene a spiritual father who made me grow as a man, it was great. I still see it today to, in the conferences that he gives in a bottomless pit of culture. Regarding his transfer to Arsenal in the summer of uh, 2022, my wife, my wife bought, brought me the contract in Ukraine during the Euros. She said to me, here I have a present for you, it was one of the best days of my life. Giroud likes to be you know, spoken about Arsenal, but anyways, we don't. Anyways, let's talk about Mikhail, Mikhailo Mudrik. He spoke to CBS Sports. He says that every guy dreams about the Premier League. It's a top league, but speculation has passed. I focus on Shakhtar, so in winter we will see what will happen. There was a lot of discussions about a transfer and clubs who want me. Also, in one of the interviews, he acknowledged that he would like to play for Arsenal one day, which is interesting, but also the, the, uh, there's a Wolfsburg player who also said that he would want to play for Arsenal. That's one of his favorite team. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do right now. People calling out Arsenal and signing and Arsenal going and signing them just because others want him. Anyways, anyways, let's just let's just go on with things. And Brentford versus Arsenal is a 12 p.m. BST kickoff time on Sunday. So yep, let's see what happens. Well, I'll be watching that. And with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal content, the best place to be consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one.